like preciseness. No guesses. And you shall know the truth. Because he introduced the truth to you. And he said the truth shall set you free. It's preciseness. Distinction. There is no guesses about God. I think. That's not, that's not what I think. And when God is always introducing himself, he didn't introduce himself like I think. Maybe he said, I'm the Lord of hosts. The King of Israel. And you can see several places in the scripture where God was very specific about introduction. I'm Jehovah Rapha. <laughs> I'm the Lord your God. Oh, I'm the Lord your rock. Oh, the personal introduction. Because he knew the human being he created. Sometimes we can be carried away <laughs> by religiosity. We just play around and think God is just God who is to be feared and run away from and never have a close communication with they say come let us reason together God like reasoning Amen. what does it as not as long as our reasoning is not going to criticize stand against his truth God like reasoning <laughs> how can you call me the Lord of the hosts of Hamins of Israel. The Lord of the hosts of the church. Head of all things for the church. And you call me the Hami, a soldier of the Hami of the body of Christ. And I'm a weakly. The Bible says, if you withdraw, okay, in the day of adversity, they say your strength is small. How can my strength be small? I've been called a soldier. Why am I getting weaker every day? How can, see, let's, let's explain it. What are the attributes of a soldier? Soldier is very disciplined. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. They are very focused. What do I say? When God introduced himself and said, I am the Lord of hosts. I am the Lord of you. You are part of my soldier. He is saying that you need to be focused with me. Hallelujah. I need you to reason with me with sincerity, with focus, with plainness. So I'm not talking in a secret place. I talk it in open, open place about who I am. So God doesn't want to be managed. He gets angry when people manages him. He gets angry with that. God wants to be quoted. You know what he says? Put me in remembrance. Let's talk it together. God likes to be quoted. So how are we serving God as if God is not existing? How can we be serving God and making God appear as if he's not able to answer any prayer? We're just managing him for a moment. Even to the extent of our marital life, we just play around and say, God, he doesn't have time for this. He doesn't have time for this. Really? But he had time to create Eve and gave Eve to Adam. He doesn't have time for this. But he had time to create Eve and gave Eve to Adam. Come on! Tell the Lord! All door that is shut against me, open them by force tonight. Open them by force. Every door shut against me progressing, achieving, getting my need met tonight because of my ignorance, because of my letting you down, because of my not allowing you to manifest yourself. Today I call them break loose break loose last to the preacher sunday next in jesus name we have pray you know you got in there you know you got in there you know you got in there it does not hit you when he eats you nobody will teach you to pray amen nobody i don't teach people to pray <laughs> i don't hallelujah i leave them to pray <laughs> praise the lord so when god introduces himself as you are part of his soldier. <laughs> He's saying that there are some things ordinarily that you can achieve by yourself without having to bother him too much. There are some things you can achieve by yourself. He is when a soldier, okay, when you see a soldier, you see a determination. When you see a soldier, you see 
a man who is ready to fight amen <laughs> who is winning oriented a winning oriented okay a soldier doesn't like defeat <laughs> hallelujah doesn't what i don't know why we get a christianity to be like a religion that is just contented in the little i don't understand that okay contented in defeat the enemy come around and oppress you overnight and you are contented <laughs> some, some people have been oppressed i'm being, I'm being told that some people have been oppressed overnight and they just sit down there and be contented amen a soldier under oppression with a military gun in his hand he can't do anything with it that, that, can, can you imagine that because he doesn't understand the meaning of the gun is carrying that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world we're going to pray tonight everywhere i've lost battle i reclaim my winning streak right now i reclaim my winning streak everywhere i've lost my battle i reclaim my winning streak in the name come on say out say out i reclaim my winning streak in the name of jesus christ i resist every finger of wickedness every finger of oppression make me not to stand by myself when i stand by myself i'm depressed i'm isolated i feel the whole world is against me i command let the hand of god arise arise and fight my battle for me fight will set up in jesus name today we have prayed hallelujah open your eyes and look at me very well there are some things ordinarily we are supposed to be possessing ordinarily just getting them and going away with it but because we don't allow god to introduce himself we just manage god <laughs> If anyone lack wisdom, we've been told in the scripture, let him what ask. God who give it what? Stingingly, 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 liberally. He said, Up to now, you have not asked anything. Ask till your joy is full. Can you call depression a fullness of joy? Can you say that uh, <laughs> because I just don't understand some things? See, let me tell you something. Women are scars around. But I happen to be in a church and I told the Lord, you need to bring my wife here. <laughs> See, you, you, if you walk with God with one mind, one straight mind, God will say to you, He is God. Amen. He's what? He's God. Bring my partner here. Guess what? He did it. He brought her there into that. He walked all our way. I didn't meet her in that church. She came to meet me. And the very first day I saw her, I knew he's the one. It appeared to me as if I've been with her for several years. My heart was just knitted. Bam. I said, oh yeah, this has never happened to me all the years of my life. Answer prayer. Hey, if anybody is giving an alternative, you reject the alternative because you are a militant soldier. A soldier must be focused. You must undertake God for who God is. Have you ever seen a soldier bend the rule? The military rule? Do they bend the rule anyhow and do their own thing like, like a civilian? Have you ever seen that before? 
when they put on uniform what do they do the very neat right tidy or a lot not not kind of uniform just flying around the place and then the wind is blowing away they know what they are doing and when they walk they are to walk focus you see just you're walking like that. they don't walk like that they walk with alertness Amen. they know what they are, they are doing and you need to think about this very well if god is introducing himself to his people that he is the host the lord of hosts lord of your army then he's saying you are going to be my soldier huh wow you're serious that means one of the properties i mean characteristics of a soldier apart from all those i mentioned is they defend they are def- they defend what do i say they defend they defend and let me tell you they actually especially teach soldier to intelligence right? how to detect things they are detectors Amen. they are what when you add two plus two what is going to become the result our christian today our christianity today we don't know how to ask spiritual two plus two to make four we don't know we can't explain because we don't allow god to reveal that statement to us personally personal encounter personal introduction see when you never see a soldier grumbling around <laughs> obey before complaint what do i say <laughs> if the commander gave instruction what happened to the soldier Good man. hallelujah right no distracted i was watching one video one time and then the soldier was there a long time and i'm just fall down boom and they came to carry him away that's how lawyer they are the lawyer to their what to their discipline they love not their life unto death wow it is better for a soldier a soldier prefer to die than to give up his discipline wow part of discipline is this is that god has created you to be human being and that he has not created you for just nothingness he created you for a purpose and if he has created you for a purpose therefore he will provide you a home he understands your feelings and is going to settle your future it's part of his plan god doesn't just waste people hey, listen carefully listen carefully when god came to this world through his son jesus christ he came for people not for things for what for god so loved the world and he gave his life he gave his only begotten son so if he came for people how come people don't understand that they are valuable in the hand of God. Now, talk about the children of God. How happened that children of God doesn't even know? Maybe your believer doesn't know much. What about the children of God that really have given themselves to Him, are tasted of the goodness of God already? How come? Personal revelation is very important. Personal what? Revelation. God must be allowed to introduce Himself into our situation. Sometimes we do the whole prayer by ourselves alone. Prayer by ourselves. We do the prayer. Not touching the Lord. Not touching the Lord. Not touching the Lord. Not time for God to talk. So, you know, one day God was, God was telling me I was praying. And he said, look, do you know you've been doing this talking alone? Can you just lie down and don't talk? <laughs> and I began to hear mysteries. Ha! Everybody say, ha! God must be allowed to introduce himself. That's how relationship begins. That's how it begins. Not what they told you. You need to find out. The sons of Ishaka, they know the signs of what? Of time. That is people, when they hear, they go back and look at the scripture. What are what they say? Part of the Jews in the book of Acts of the Apostles, they check whether what they have said is 
correct. They took time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you with me? The fire of God is about to follow you today and make you a great preacher. I pray for you that the destiny that you are carrying around and God is saying, I need this destiny. I want to invoke this destiny. It belongs to me. That's what I have for my, to my ears. You, I'm talking to you. God said, God said, listen to me carefully. He has pain inside you that you need to invoke to save many to his kingdom. You gotta be ready. You could go away, run away to anywhere. He is going to pursue you. But if you resist him, that's a consequence. Hallelujah. When I see your face, I always see that there is a fire that's about to fall on your life. Fire. 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 Don't worry. What does it? God will say to you. That's just a small thing. If he settled me, he will take care of you. If you ask my wife what he went through in life, ask her. You will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will believe God. But what these two people that they went through in life, all hope is lost. All of what? I mean, not hope in God, but hope. You know, hope in, hope in a man. Hope of things happening. But God has been our hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your seat. God must be allowed. God must be allowed. He must be allowed to introduce himself. Don't manage him. No need to manage God. God is not to be managed. He is to be believed. <laughs> now sometimes we pray so much that God is actually stuffed with the prayer. We don't harakasonto. <laughs> sometimes we pray, we don't allow God to walk. <laughs> Our prayer actually become preemptive prayer. We already have a plan B. We just keep praying because we need to pray. Sometimes you need to pray and let God move. Amen. <laughs> what do I say? You pray and let God move. God must be allowed to introduce himself. Dear God, could you please introduce yourself? That's what I'm waiting for in this fellowship. See, what I'm seeing is different from this. See, I see a whole nation gathering together in this fellowship. That's what I see every day of my life. Every day. Every, every day of my life. I see giant rising. 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 Hey, hey, where they be? Where they be? Where they be? You know what I mean? You go to a place and you are passing. And the Lord said, that's the place. Just go there. Go there. And when you are descending the hill and you saw <laughs> very big place like an ocean. And the only one man there was fishing with his hook. Was fishing with his hook and couldn't catch anything. And I was passing the Lord. He said, no. You go down there. And I climbed down. And I went in there. And I discovered that there's a shallow water. On top of this whole thing is highs. Okay. I was like, this is, that's nothing here. There's just shallow water here. You know what God told me? He said, get in there, use your hand. <laughs> I know that people fish with, with hook, with net. I don't see why people are fishing with their bare hands. I've never seen that before. If you are fishing with your bare hand, something serious is happening. I said, dip your hand into it. And I dip my hand and my hand break the highs. Well, guess what? The, the fish come in the direction of my, of my hand. As I dip my hand, they came. It's like expecting me. And I pack them. How can you be packing live fish but two hands? And I'm calling my wife for a basket. Pim. Pim. More basket. Pim. Why are they magnetizing to my hands? That's the question. It is stupid. It would be foolish of me to ignore that dream. What does Christ say to Peter? Come. I will make you what? Just what I'm seeing is bigger than here. And I begin to question because it's revelation. 
when God revealed himself personally to you like that I said time to shut up and sit down let's talk about it what is this about what I'm what is it that I'm doing wrong what am I not doing right where do I need to go where do I need to start open my eyes because see some people pray about revelation but some people get revelation but they don't know interpretation two different things it's a hardest thing to be praying for revelation about things but when you already have it it's much better what we need to do now is to sit down and have what conversation of what 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 need to be done to get that to come to pass every day god is guaranteeing me none of you is small none of you okay that's on your feet none of anybody who dare connect to here anyone from any part of the world who dare connect with this place god always tell me say none of them is a sign say go and write it down it's a sign that they are not small they are great people he said i have worked that out in your family i've already labored that don't you see he said all these ones they are evidence of greater things to happen in the future evidence you do not have right to belittle yourself in this place you do not have right the lord asked me to tell you you do not have right to belittle yourself everybody say, i do not have right to belittle myself because i'm special Each time I see all of you, I see light glowing. <laughs> you don't see yourself. Let me tell you. God is going to open your eyes. See, God, you know, Elijah prayed for that servant. He said, look, God opened his eyes and let him see. And by the time he has his eyes opened, he saw hosts. <laughs> those, are the, those are part of the host. The Lord is controlling from heaven. They surrounded them. Hallelujah. Hosts your eyes need to be opened <laughs> what you think yourself to be is not what you are you are greater than this everybody say, i'm greater than this see that seven times seven times no rushing with emphasis say it again five times i'm greater than this I am greater than this. I am greater than this. I am greater than this. I am greater to Christ who strengthens me. I have told you over and over start doing what you ordinarily can do. I'm telling you, you are limiting God because you are not allowing God to reveal Himself. God can reveal Himself by acting acting through you hacked amen revelation inspiration you are limiting yourself don't okay go and erase what is said about you about the people like you or about yourself or in your family that your stay in this country is all about god is saying that is not true of you i have a special volume of book written of you and you need to embrace it you need to embrace you need to get out get everybody say, get out hey get out get out get out everybody say, get out i must tell you you must rise up in your feet of your heart to rise up see i told you over and over where i came from that's my friend i'm telling you the truth from a place where you compete for food before you can be satisfied compete for food a place where destiny of people have been sniffed on the head sniff it on the head and they are not progressing a place where my brother died young that's where i came from a multi-dimensional family both spiritual and physical 
<laughs> where the bear who is ready to tear and eat he is that's where i came from god almighty not only that he helped me out of that place he went ahead and make me the best student in mechanical engineering in, in federal university he said walk your way out of the house he took me out the house of idolatry where my father is a magician my father commands something will just come out it can command fire to happen spiritual force <laughs> with many wives somebody tells me I will be here today. Is a lie. Is a lie, my friend. Is a lie. How did I get here? So when I everybody pray, Lord, wherever I have been belittling myself today, I command that my eyes open. I stop belittling myself. I reclaim my possession. Open your mouth and declare. Thank in Jesus' name we have prayed. When they say difficult, go for it. Everybody say, go for it. When you want to do something and it's a big project and something tells you it's difficult, that's what you should pursue. Let me tell you, when I want to marry, they will say, you can't marry. Why? Because you have no foundation to marry properly. So your father doesn't even have it. Who are you to marry properly? Who is going to come to your wedding? You don't even have money. Are you sure you are going to have a job? You should mess your life up before you give your life to Christ. <laughs> Tell me all stories. <laughs> he said, you are not even going to... See, he was graduating from one section to the other. Tell me all stories. All running my head. But to his face, to his shameless face, I got married. <laughs> And God raised sponsors to sponsor my marriage. You can't imagine that marriage is like a marriage of princess or prince in a palace. People from different places jump pack the place. And the Lord told me, it doesn't matter what you are thinking. It is, it is important that you connect with me. Your head can make noise. It doesn't matter. Do the difficult. What they said is not possible. It's what you can't do whatever your brain is resisting and telling you no no that's the real truth <laughs> what do i say <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Rek, Rek devil know how to discourage when he sees you wanting to achieve you know that will also come to after i got married he said do you know you, you can't even you can't even you can't even have a child he actually tried he tried first year i didn't have a child <laughs> no pregnancy everything <laughs> block up <laughs> lock up the womb was locked up i was like ah we've been in this thing what's going on <laughs> for a while no pregnancy by the time god was done the pregnancy came out <laughs> he couldn't go back pregnancy what came out and when god's going to deliver the boy <laughs> It was exactly nine months. No one day less, no one day more. Perfect boy came out of the womb, delivered, calm, cool, smiling. <laughs> During the Rasoto Pokosha, some things you need to be saying. You have to say you have the right. The Vatican revelation make you to claim your right. Don't give yourself up to Satan's shameless behavior. And noise, noise. Don't give it. I said, look, 
a pregnancy, go pray. Pray on the pregnancy. Lay your hand on the pregnancy and pray. I said, Lord, what do you want me to pray? He said, I'm going to give you a name. I said, what's the name? He said, integrity added to you is the name of the child. For the child shall even be greater than you. How many, see, how many parents want to pray that the child will not be greater than them? It must be a foolish parent, right? <laughs> a pretty friend. I said, really? Okay. I lay my hand. Pim, pim, pim. Baby shaking. Good. Pray. And this one too. Lord prayers. Oh, man. What are you talking about? In another man's country. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Why would not I want God to do things with the way he wants to do it? Go go to me Sunday. I put all tongue into that pregnancy. All tongue. <laughs> Nine months exactly. The baby get out. Man, out. You know, the devil tried. He didn't want the baby to come out. My, my wife was in the hospital for almost half a day, if no more. Trying to struggle to deliver. Ah. Ah. And they come and say, hey, overnight, your, your, your wife couldn't deliver. Couldn't deliver. I said, right, Lord. Okay. I said, and I, I walk all the way. It's like walking from here to to all the way to where? Or to Gulfton. You know the Gulfton area? From here, from this campus, you walk all the way to West Park. Okay, Beach not. Yeah, I walk all the way. Coming from oh, there's no vehicle in, in the land of Italy. Actually, in Trieste, Italy. My wife in the hospital, they said, go home and sleep. Your wife, okay, go home. Okay, I'm home. But they call me again. I couldn't deliver. No vehicle to no vehicle. I trek and I begin to cry to God, Lord, she must not die. She must deliver. <laughs> she must not die. And I begin to shed tears. She must not die. She must not die. He that keeps Israel never slumber. Never does he sleep. He must not die. As soon as I enter there, <laughs> the baby start coming out by force. Hallelujah. I look at the seven came up they will also come to me to you your kind of stuff they will we keep coming to you and tell you stories say you are not qualified you're not qualified that's what you go for if the devil is making noise in your head tell he, that confront it what do i say ah, confront it that's why i don't care anymore if i had a bad dream oh jealous devil has come again <laughs> When you have a bad dream, it is not time to be running around. Not time to be running around. Personal revelation is very important. When you have a bad dream, devil is jealous. That's the meaning. He has seen something good and he's going to go after you. Gee, have you ever seen where people who pray very well have horrible experience? <laughs> That's the other side of God that you don't know. And God needs to reveal to you. You can't be close to God and prayerful and never experience disaster. That's why people don't want to pray. <laughs> they don't want to get close. When you get close and pray, certain things may even be happening in your prayer ground. God has told me, when you are fasting and you are praying, you have a bad experience. You need to continue. <laughs> not the time to stop he said that's the time you need to continue he said why because you are touching principalities and power and they are gathering themselves to oppose you and that's must you continue okay. that's why i say i pass sensitivity it's lack of personal revelation when you are i pass <laughs> when somebody's i pass sensitive it is because it's not yet having a personal revelation. You don't need that. You don't need hyper sensitivity. A soldier is not an hyper sensitive guy. They don't care. Just focus. You know, you encourage them, you don't encourage them, they don't care. Right? They have a principle. Amen. They must conquer, right? Oh, soldier, you are fine. They don't need that. How many times you see soldiers being told you are wonderful guys? No, get to it. If you don't stand where they put the cap, and <laughs> knock on the head. Go and see the training on YouTube. I want to look at that. Nobody have time to be doing motivation in the army. <laughs> but clearly today is about motivation. Make me go. Make me fine. If you make me fine, I'm not good. I'm gonna go. If you don't make me fine, I will go. 
You make me far, I'm going to stay. Is that Christianity? No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. What, why is it that Daniel prayed and the prince of Persia, the Indice prayer? What, 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 what is the reason why? Is it that, come on, say it, say it, say it, my friend, say it, my friend. Why is it that his prayer is being in that for a moment? Why? He doesn't have a bad relationship with God. Why? Because devil is jealous. <laughs> devil is what? And the man continued, and the revelation was given, and he overcame. You need to continue. Everybody said, you need to continue. Personal revelation like this make you want to continue. Sometimes you do a lot of things committed to God, and suddenly you, f- you find a sudden disappointment. Ah! Get crazy. Everybody said, get crazy. That you now increase your tempo of service to God. Increase your tempo of service to God. Because devil is already jealous. Because he sees something great coming on the way. He could do all he can do to distract you. All he can do. Never allow devil to distract you by upper sensitivity. Learn how to let go. Because anybody who wants to be great in life, we have to have a thick skin. What do I say? I told my son, you need to develop a thick skin. Racism or no racism, you match your way and smile. What does it? <laughs> and what? Smile to everybody. Be a bright light to the environment. Amen. Doesn't matter what they say. <laughs> Doesn't what? Whose report shall we believe? The report of the Lord who personally introduced Himself. That's the report you want to believe. The Israelites forgot the whole thing. They were believing reports of what they feel in their head, their flesh. Huh? They were believing those reports. And they said, don't think we can win this giant. There are a lot of giants in the land. This, this can't be ours. They will win us. We can't possess this land. But Caleb and Joshua said, no! That's not a giant. It's not about the giant. It's about the world that was vertically revealed to us that God has given unto this land and they went with that revelation and Caleb and Joshua were the only one who survived and reached the promised land all of that one was slaughtered by God God does not like people who deny his testimony God must be given room to personally introduce himself to you that is what brings up your faith faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of God when God introduces himself by intervening in every area of your life you become shocked you become amazed your faith grows that's what happens hallelujah personal introduction see it is only personal introduction of God to to you that make you to survive in the midst of calamity nobody can survive calamity without God personally giving them personal encounter it's very difficult God must be allowed. Sometimes we call we Christian crazy people. Crazy because they are soldiers. See the way soldiers are training. You call them crazy people under barbed wire, jumping fences, okay, getting through the mall, rolling because they want to get their muscle flex, right? strong, focus, want to destroy all distractions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so therefore they are not moved by whatever distractions around or something around them they know what they are doing and they came to me and said look hey guy you think even this your boy now the way he's looking this boy is in elementary school you know the way he's just doing all kind of stuff and i said really and i call my boy hey boy today you start reading this book what do i say at the at the elementary start reading test book so what reading test book be your own manager and study from home and i begin to prophesy in his head right i'm telling you what you are going to do for your life amen what you are going to, what you're going to do for your life you go to take your children don't give your children to the government don't give your children to the schools right you and your husband must agree you have to take charge of your children i've seen african people who say well you know 
our American children. Really? They are no longer your children. They're just our American children. You know how they behave. Uh, you've lost the battle. Our American children, you know how to behave. You, you, it means that you've left your children to no control, no leadership. Who is America? Building? You are the America. <laughs> You're not doing your job. Hallelujah. You gotta do your job. Uh, teach your child the way you should go. Teach your child. Teach, teach. I was a teach. I am talking to you. I'm talking to your destiny. I'm talking to your life. You are going to grow here and produce nations. You are going to 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 produce nation. I'm talking to you because soon you are going to be start smiling. You are going to produce nation. And now is enough, my friend. Now is enough. All this kind of managing and say, oh, we don't prosper in our family. This is how the whole thing is. They just manage everything as long as I can con con I'm collecting seven dollars per hour. You know. What about somebody who was giving to the almost twenty dollar per hour? Who told you they can't give you more than seven dollar per hour, my friend? Why are we going for that complacency? Where is it coming from? Because of we don't allow God to personally introduce Himself. We are managing God. You see, I'm sorry to say. There are some race in this life. There are some race. Have your seat. Have your seat. There are some race. Some race. You know what they do? They serve God so much and they receive so little. <laughs> they keep wondering what's going on. They serve God so much and they have so little. The problem is not God. The problem is religiosity. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's. They have one hour prayer, another one hour prayer, they go and pray, pray, and they say, What is the purpose of this prayer? And you ask, nobody can explain. We just need to pray. Like insanity. There's a need for a discussion, sense of purpose. Amen. What I say? Yeah. Whatever you have fine doing, do it with all your might. That must be a sense of purpose, not pharisaic, pharisaic behavior. Pharisaic behavior. They do all the praying. They, in fact, they go to the public and do all the chanting in the public. Everybody can see them. Jesus was very clear. He said, "Do not be like them who think by too much words their prayers are answered." So they go to the corners in open places and begin to pray so that people can see them. He said they already have their reward <laughs> Hallelujah. you gotta understand what jesus is saying huh? vain repetition you gotta understand what god is saying there's a need for emphasis not saying empty word when you say empty word to god it's a vain repetition it doesn't mean you're going to say the same thing over no a vain repetition doesn't mean that you say the same prayer every day no it means when you say the prayer, your heart is not there. <laughs> your heart is not there. It's just empty talk. In the name of prayer program. Prayer and fasting program. I say, what, what was it that was doing in this prayer program? He couldn't analyze. What prayer did I say? He couldn't analyze. Did I have an account? He couldn't analyze. He just praying. That's not the way we're asked to pray. Say, come, let us listen together. That's how we're asked to pray. Come what? Let us listen tonight. Rise up on your feet. You're going to tell the Lord. Tell the Lord what you want right now. What you want. Lord, I'm here tonight. I want to have that encounter with you. I need this all thing to resolve. I can't stay in my room. I'm not able to pray and talk to you as my father. Why am I looking at you as a stranger? Enough is enough. I need to have that encounter with you tonight. I need this area to be resolved. I need to have confidence in my God. I need to relate with you as a son, a daughter to a father. Enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough say it out set yourself free whoever the son of man set free he shall be free 
indeed shall be free indeed shall be free indeed shall be free indeed shall be free indeed I need my life to be organized. I need to take note of my days. Teach me on how to number my days and apply my heart to wisdom. Enough is enough about anyhow business. No more anyhow business. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we have prayed. gospel is the power of God unto salvation. The voice of God does not condemn. Back in the power of God. God loves with you. The end of the world. The Lord does not want our past.